Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss about pure substances and its types. In this, we are going to discuss just an introduction part of the type of pure substances that is elements. As we have already learnt about the matter and its classification into pure substances and mixtures. So let us see what is pure substances. It is defined as a pure substance consists of a single type of particles. That means if a matter is called as a pure substance which have only single type of particle which have only the single type of particles then it is called as a pure substances. On the basis of its chemical composition pure substance can be further classified as that is elements and compounds. The example for the element when we look at the diagrammatic way it is very clear that the element chemically we can say that it is a both having a single type of particle but in this uh, we have the particles of uh, the same element like uh, hydrogen but here we can see the elements here more than one type of elements are chemically combined that is called as a compound so we'll be going to discuss in detail about uh, the elements and compound in the videos Elements Robert Boyle was the first scientist to use the term element in 1661. But the another chemist, a French chemist called as Lavoisier, he was a first person to establish an experimentally useful definition of an element. He defined the element in this way, that is, an element is a basic form of matter that cannot be broken into simpler substances by chemical reactions. According to him, the elements are the pure substances which cannot be further broken down into the simpler substance by the chemical reactions. That we will be going to discuss in detail. So the examples of elements are hydrogen. Hydrogen, the symbol for hydrogen is H. That is, it cannot be further broken into the simpler substance. Next, we have the element like iron. Symbol for iron is Fe. Fe is an element which cannot be broken down into the further simpler substance by the chemical reaction. Similarly, we have oxygen. The symbol is O. Next, we have the examples like potassium. Symbol K. And the familiar element copper symbol cu so the details of elements and its properties that we'll be going to discuss in the further videos as elements are further classified as metals non-metals and metalloids so in the further videos we'll be discussing about uh, the detail of elements like metals non-metals and metalloids so this is all about this video have a nice day